wardrobe change, going out for a little girl Sunday fun day. And this is what your girl have on. Very cute, right? So stinking cute. Ooh, 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 oh. So hey you guys, it's your girl. Today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Right? Yes, today is Tuesday, May 3rd, you guys. I'm heading out for like my girl needs a little pick-me-up, so we're heading out. It's about 4 o'clock. I know. This looks terrible. I tried the flexi rod. You guys would have saw this unit. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw, but I'm also going to include um, videos and stuff in this vlog so you guys can see. But this is the hair. I tried to do the whole flexi rod thing. Epic fail. Some of them took. Some of them didn't. <laughs> oh, it's actually bothering me. It's like a good three portions didn't take. A good three. I don't even know. Whatever. We're just going out for a drink. So it's really not that deep. So this is what it is. This is what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing. I don't like this top. I don't like, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm not, uh, whatever. I just don't like this top. But anyways, um, I'm wearing my jewelry. This is on my boutique. This is my boutique. It's gold and silver. I'm wearing gold and silver. I mean, I might take off one of the bracelets. I think I'm going to take off the gold bracelet and then I'm wearing these earrings as well. I'm going to be wearing a hat because I'm still using that bleaching cream for my, um, for my blemishes. So because I'm still using the bleaching cream, I need to protect my face. And I am still like, I'm wearing sunscreen. <laughs> you guys are so crooked. I'm wearing sunscreen, but you know, I still don't want to be in the sun because of that. So yeah, these are the earrings, like I said, right here. And then I'm just going to be wearing just some black sneakers, okay? But this is what I'm wearing. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more so you guys can see. Honey, I see you. It's looking at me. Uh -huh. So that's it. And then I'm just going to bring my fanny pack. And then that's it. So we have reservations for 4.15. It's 4 o'clock. She's on her way. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. I just finished doing a not a live but like a story on IG I'm heading out right now you guys today is June the 4th I know where have I been where have I been girl I'm gonna be putting in things that I've been doing but I have less than a minute on this memory card so I'm just showing you guys what I'm wearing my cute little earrings all my chains all these are well only this is available on the boutique, okay? The rest of the necklaces are so are discontinued. I'm not carrying them anymore. These two bracelets are on the boutique. Um, this one isn't. This one is like, a, the star is a sample, but it's way too sharp. Like, it cuts me up. And then these rings are on the boutique as well. This one isn't. And I'm just wearing a black crop, um, navy blue crop top with some leggings. And that's it, girl. See you. So we back. I need to cut these bangs. Like I was saying, so I'm trying the cake. This cake is not good. Um, the white cake from Metro is a lot better. I'm just eating this because I I need to put something in my belly before I actually cook food. You know what I mean? So anyways, you guys, like I was saying in the kitchen, I feel like... 
Honestly, I'm thankful for Timu. Since Timu came on the block, Shein has been changing a whole bunch of things with their platform. Their interface on their app has changed where it's just, it's different. Because I generally feel like Timu, I feel like Timu is giving Shein a run for their money. I bought a portable washing machine because you guys know I live in a building and I got to go downstairs to do my laundry and stuff like that. And majority of my laundry is just like t-shirts and socks and whatever, right? Like it's just a, it's just a buildup of them. It's supposed to be here by mm, this weekend or maybe early next week is supposed to be. And then I'm going to show you guys when I get it. I bought it because I'm not trying, like, I'm not trying to spend no money anymore. You guys, how do I live where I live? And I hate the sound of noise. So anyways, I purchased the portable washing machine. This should be coming next week. I got it in the purple color. I really wanted it in the green, but the green was like an extra $10. You know how like they do with colors and stuff like that? I'm like, boom, it ain't even that deep. Not like it has an extra function in it or anything like that. An extra 10 bucks for the color, you can keep that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that should be here either this weekend or early next week. And then I went back on Timu because I wanted to just see Wagwan on Timu. And I always see like the ads for Timu. So let me tell you guys what I bought. I bought a rechargeable electric vacuum blackhead acne pore cleaner. Um, and it's supposed to deep clean your skin with water. So I'm looking at this as, oh, this can be like a hydrofacial, right? Like a hydrofacial machine. I'll show it to you guys when it comes. I got that. I got um, the mini iron that I've been seeing around. I got that. I got a portable mini AC so I can keep it in my room because our portable AC is in the living room. And it generally, because that's generally where we spend majority of our time that i'm gonna keep in my bedroom it's a mini one and you can fill it with water and stuff like that i'm gonna try that out i also got like a water pick because you guys know <laughs> if you've been watching me since kingdom comes i will be done girl i used to have crooked ass teeth um so obviously i like to invest in my teeth i like to invest in my skin because i always wanted a water pick but i wasn't gonna spend a hundred like i was very reluctant to spend a hundred dollars because i'm like i don't really even need a water pick I don't really even need it. I even asked my dentist and he's like, it's not really something that you need, but you know, if you can get it at an affordable cost, sure, fine, right? But I, I just didn't want to spend a hundred dollars on it because I know that I don't need it. But then Timu has like, a, uh, obviously it's not the same level of quality, but girl, if it doesn't work, I can return it. Timu is allowing everybody in this world an opportunity to be comfortable within their finances because let me tell you guys the water pick that i got i think it was maybe like 20 something dollars and then i used the 30 percent off coupon code and it came to like 20 bucks at that point right i would i'm using timu to buy things to make my life more comfortable and for me to feel a little bit more at ease i'm not using timu to buy clothes like, i'm gonna buy a massage thing i see like they have like a massage gun thing i'm gonna buy that not right now, but it's in my car. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get all these things to make living at home a whole lot more comfortable. Making me feel a whole lot better. Anyways. I got this in the mail. Yesterday too. Like the label gun. But they sell it on Timu if you're interested. We don't keep it on the boys with security. I know I look like trash. We just worked out, okay? Um, you guys, all I wanna say is this. Do whatever you need to do to stay consistent or stay motivated or to stay active, whatever. Do whatever you need to do for you to mentally get there. Because for me, I need to look cute. I need to look cute when I work out. Even though I don't, even though the aftermath is not me looking cute, but just the fact that I look cute working out makes me want to work out 10 times as harder. Because 
I'm telling you, when I just wear something rinky-dink to work out, I'm not as motivated, I really don't care, like I'm not as into it, I don't go as hard, do you know what I mean? But when I look cute, it's kind of like a mental thing for myself to be like, girl, the reason why you look cute is because you're working out, so keep looking cute. So do what you need to do. What is going on, you guys? It is your girl. Today is Monday, June 12th. I need to start getting back on these vlogs because, baby, I edited a vlog yesterday. Actually, let me see if I'm, I'm just going to post that vlog right now, actually. I was editing a vlog last early. What am I trying to say here? I'm going to post it now. It's my pre-op, my surgery, my recovery, whatever. That's the vlog that I'm posting. So if you guys see it in that time, then you guys already know. But anyways, I was editing that. And then when I was editing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, girl, you missed out of so much. Not that I missed out of content because I put the content in the vlog, but there was no like introduction to what was happening. And I'm like, girl, that could have been an extra vlog or two. You know what I mean? Like I said earlier, I feel like vlogs are like your personal diary because when I look at vlogs that I created like five years ago, 10 years ago, I was like, whoa, do you know what I mean? And I'm just here chilling. It's a very shitty rainy day. Like it's a very rainy day. I'm thankful for the rain because if you guys have not been following um, Canada, we had a whole bunch of forest fires. I think that we're still, we still have forest fires and I'm hoping that the rain just kind of sizzles them out. So we had a very foggy, like it was, it was, it was a mess for like, it was a mess for at least about a week that we had health advisories about don't go outside you know children at school couldn't go outside for recess like it was it was bad and i think the rain is supposed to stop maybe on thursday or friday so we're supposed to get an ample amount of rain so that's like i said that's really really good and, I'm, and i can't wait for like everything to dry because that's when like the leaves are going to be like the grass is going to be so much greener the leaves are going to be you know what i mean it's going to be like that type of vibe and i'm always into that you guys if you've watched my pre-op surgery video you guys i still have not gotten my period from the Lupron, okay? And if you guys don't know what Lupron is, Lupron is an injection that pretty much decreases your estrogen and it causes you not to have a period. So I took I took Lupron to pretty much put me in a premenopausal state to shrink the size of my fibroids. And I took Lupron in January or February? I think I took Lupron in January. And Lupron stays in your body for three months and then it wears off. So my initial, my initial surgery date was supposed to be in April. I had it in March, right? So I had my surgery a month in advance because they weren't doing any surgeries in April. Right? So then she's like, do you want to wait until May? And I'm like, no, no, I just want this out of me now. Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I do not know when I was supposed to be getting my period. So May 15th, I went to go see my surgeon as well as my doctor so i made sure that i scheduled my my to see my surgeon and my doctor on the same day because your family doctor should know what's going on with you like and i feel like i should like i just feel like your family doctor should know um i know somebody ain't mowing their fucking lawn when it's raining outside i know that so whatever so i went to my family doctor i told my family doctor that i still have not gotten my period and this was back in may and she was like, all right, so if you don't get your period by like July, August, come back and see me because you should be getting your period, right? And I was like, all right, so am I, am I still going to have these symptoms? Because I feel like when I got Lupron injected, I didn't have any of the pre-menopausal symptoms that my surgeon said that I would have. Excuse me. So my surgeon said that I would be getting hot flashes, moody, all these kind of like pre-menopausal pre things, and I never got that. So I had Lupron injected by my family doctor. I don't know what it is like in the country that you live. And if you live in America, America has completely different health standards than Canada does, clearly. <laughs> clearly, we all know that. So here in Canada, your family doctor has to um, inject the Lupron into you and it's injected in your bum and then da 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 da, right? I asked my family doctor, am I gonna get these symptoms? And my family doctor was like, no. <laughs> My family doctor, um, put it this way, my family doctor's expectations were not met with my surgeon as it was with the other surgeons that she had referred me to after the whole shimbabble of being cut horizontally and vertically. If you guys saw my last video, then you guys know what's up. But she was like, the, the patients that she has had that had taken Lupron, they don't experience any of those symptoms. So she's like, I don't know, but she's like, but with my patients, none of them experienced it. So I was like, okay, cool, fine, cool, calm, right? After the surgery and in the month of May, I was definitely experiencing hot flashes. I was definitely moody. 
I was I just wasn't myself and I even told my family doctor that I was struggling like mentally I was struggling with my mental health I was struggling because I wasn't able to work out I wasn't like like I wasn't able to do the things that I normally like my daily routine was came to a complete halt right after surgery right? and I was struggling mentally and it didn't help that like my body was going in like recovery mode of like fixing down there you know making sure that everything is healing it didn't help that I was on Lupron still like all these things just didn't help with my mental health so I was honestly I was struggling I was struggling like there would be days when I would just start crying and I don't even know why I'm crying like and I would even like sit and question myself like what are you sad about where like like do you feel anxious are you sad are you upset are you happy like like what and I can never identify how I'm feeling I'm just crying we're in the month of June now we're midway to June and I feel a lot better like I said I still haven't gotten my period um, and I'm hoping that my period and honestly I have been loving not having a period can I tell you that can I be honest can I be really honest I've been loving not having a period I've been loving not having a period girl I have not had a period since February right that's four months of not having a period and I am I mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been loving not having a period um, but I'm at the point right now where I'm like I'm dreading my period coming whenever it comes I'm hoping that like I'm not knocked out because I don't know if I'm gonna have massive cramps I don't know if I'm just gonna be if it's gonna be light because when I had the fibroids inside of me I was bleeding like girl I literally had my period for like two weeks I was spotting the week before I got my actual period so I'm spotting the week before then I'm actually having my period and when I'm having my period the flow is so heavy like the flow girl my my iron levels were so low because of that and then I started taking iron supplements and doing all these kind of things to build my iron back up because I was like I was so tired all the time because of how much blood I'm just losing do you know what I mean as I continue so as I continue guys I'm going to be applying this bleaching cream it's dermatologist prescribed and I'm applying it to like the hyperpigmentation on my face I initially got it because of my scar when I went to go do a PRP the plasma face you know like the Kim K blood facial I went to go do that because I had heard that it helps diminish scars right the diminish the appearance of scars but the nurse who had done the facial girl the nurse who had done the facial I <laughs> listen put it this way the dermatologist gave me my money back the dermatologist gave me my money back and PRP it's not a dinky little $200 facial, right? And I'm not saying that $200 for a facial is dinky, but I'm saying in comparison, in comparison, okay? In comparison price-wise, it is dinky. I'm just saying. And my, and my dermatologist gave me my money back. In addition to that, she worked with me for pretty much a year to get my face color especially around my scar to get that color back and it's still not even a hundred percent back to where it was she prescribed me with three different bleaching creams three different bleaching creams this was the first one i have another one that's in the fridge that you have to keep in a cool place in the dark and i have another one just to get my skin back to where it needs to be because if i wasn't taking bleaching cream baby okay I'm using the I'm saying that to say I'm using the bleaching cream to work on my hyperpigmentation and these are all caused by um, pimples obviously but yeah mm, that's a blemish but this is what I'm doing to help bring my skin to help bring my skin color back because it's summertime and I can't really be waiting like I can't really be waiting around for like my skin to want to get back to where it needs to go to no babes we need to get you back right now so this is what I'm doing so anyways that's what I'm gonna do you guys I'm gonna touch base with you guys a little later love you